Welcome to this random building that was open on my university's campus, even though it's summer. So a year ago, I held a Nerf tournament on my campus and it was super fun. I'm only ever gonna get to do this one more time and it's right now. So I would like to welcome you to the official, unofficial AMPO uh, Nerf tournament 1v1 uh, second edition trademark pending. The loser of this competition will receive this red box and humiliation in perpetuity, and the winner will receive a cash prize and this red box. I, have a bow on top. I wonder what's inside. Using my incredible graphic design skills, I made these posters, and I got eight people ready to play. Now, let's meet our contestants. My name is Kieran, um, I've been nerfing since I was three years old, and I just want to say that I'm going to win today, and uh, if I don't win, then it was rigged against me, everyone cheated, and it's not my fault at all. Hi, I'm Adrian Zah, I was a previous hitman in jail, I'm on parole right now. I come from Utah, Nevada, and... Utah, Nevada? <laughs> I don't know my stance. I'm Aiden Sarah. I retired from Secret Service like five years ago, and now I wrestle grizzly bears. And my name's T. Yeah, so like I'm Colin. Um, I'm L. Um, I'm 6'9, 250 pounds. Um, my name is James, and I'm just here to have fun, man. Back in the day, I was. Uh, oh, I gotta go again. I gotta go again. You just can you keep it rolling? Nope! Okay, that's enough of that. So after that, they arrived in the building and I led them into the main room. The best of uh, boy, boy, boy. Why did you wear those ski masks? <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Good. 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 Yeah. Okay, that was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. If you all would like to take a look. Woo! Wow! Ooh. I'd like you to meet our lovely ref, Enzo. Oh, I love you. Love you. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. My name's Enzo. You're probably wondering why I'm in a ref uniform. And it's because Anthony does not want me to win another challenge. I made him the ref so he can't win, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we decided the gun picking order. Then everyone came up and grabbed their guns. I really thought the cash prize would make the competitive spirit come out of everybody, but instead it felt like I was babysitting a bunch of children. Oh my god, you look so attractive in that. I'm going to announce the bracket, but before I do, we are in America. After I revealed who was facing off against who, I finally got a taste of that competitive spirit. Any questions? Can I switch? No. So yes, this tournament is a one-on-one -on -one style bracket, and no, I did not um, make this fair, I just randomized it. Alright, here we got a two-sided coin, we got the heads, and god damn, Virginia, we couldn't find any better coins. <laughs> <laughs> God. Anyways, I. They flipped a coin to decide who got what side of the stage. It is tails. The first match between Zah and Sarah went exactly how you'd expect it to go. I don't think Sarah had ever held a Nerf gun before. Sarah didn't move a single inch from that corner, and uh, obviously Zah destroyed her. When I was showing Sarah how to properly cock a gun, I realized just how unfair this bracket really was. We did best two out of three, which didn't matter because Sarah just hid under the table for the next one. You're a loser, everybody! <laughs> Kieran versus L was a bit more of a fair fight, is something I would say if I was a pathological liar. Kieran asked if he can get knife kills, and I told him yes, thinking that was impossible, and, um, I was wrong. So as L got stabbed by that plastic knife, I was a bit worried about getting sued. I did not know it could go that wrong. <laughs> but she's alive at least, so that's good. I personally think that I pulled off quite a few cool tricks trying to uh, navigate my way through that situation. Last words to your family. I don't need no last words. Oh, you're looking Paul? Mm. Yeah, bro, look at him. Look. He's looking at the floor. He can't even look me in the eyes. Do I squeeze me? Originally, James was supposed to go against Hanbon, but she wanted to do a halftime show, so I was like, oh, James can just verse Paul. It'll be a funny little bit. It was Tails! <laughs> what side? What side? Uh, little did I know, Paul would become a crowd favorite, and it's hard to make rules around a, a fake bear. Yeah, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Illegal headshot! <laughs> 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 
qualification. <laughs> well, yeah, no headshots. That was not oh, specified in the rules. No headshots. Yeah, knife kills. <laughs> Luckily, James managed to clean up his act and take care of Paul pretty easily in the second round. Oh! Alright, it's 1-1. One, one. What? Are you for real? <laughs> I could tell James was upset because he wanted to use the prize money to pay for medical school and it was about to get robbed by a bear. Luckily though, James managed to defeat the titular bear. How did you feel about the last match that you had? The last match of this first round was T versus Colin. How are you feeling about the first round? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm not really worried. I'm gonna murder every- Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can say that. I didn't realize this at the time, but Colin was a monster. He swept her 2-0 and finished both rounds in about 10 seconds. Moving into the semifinals, it was Zav versus Kieran, two undeniable nerds who were masters at their craft. They were ducking and bobbing and weaving and ducking and bobbing and weaving and running and running and they wasted 15 goddamn minutes of our time. Guys, do you ever think about like how we're like 20 years old? You ever think about how we're like 20? After an absolutely unacceptable amount of time to be watching two boys chase each other with Nerf guns, Kieran finally won. Next up was James versus Colin. I really wanted James to win, but his warm-up strategies uh, confused me. Alright, y'all. Don't let the white man win! It's the most physical activity since James passed, bro. A stone-cold killer like Colin versus uh, James. Uh, I mean, he's something. James put up a good fight. He's like a little, little gazelle. He's like running and jumping all over the place, but he was no match for Colin. <laughs> I put so much f***ing money on you winning this, what the f***, dude? I can't put this in! <laughs> I thought that I was gonna be, it was gonna be a lighthearted matchup between everybody, but I feel like I've made nothing but enemies. <laughs> I think it's about time we had a halftime show. Ooh, welcome to the halftime show! Yeah! When was Nerf founded? 1894. Incredibly incorrect! It was actually 1969! Oh! So yeah, T ended up winning the halftime show, and Hanbon gave her a lap dance, and I was super thrilled about that. And yeah, then Hanbon ended up doing this rap. Keep the form out of sight, no reconsider when I put your ass on the next flight. And she did this for about five minutes, which was um, super awesome. But after that, it was time for the finals. Kieran versus Colin, my two white ass roommates, who both happen to also love Nerf guns. I want to clean fight. Ew, that was so stupid. Dude, <laughs> Johnny. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, what the A mutiny had occurred. My own contestants turned against me. I feel so silly. I feel like I'm watching like football. Like a silly man sport. Like, yes, touchdown. After Colin and Kieran stopped being absolute buttheads, they finally dueled. <laughs> <laughs> and after an intense two minutes, Kieran had won. <laughs> Kieran! But we couldn't let Kieran win that easily, because we still had a loser's bracket! Okay. <laughs> it was one giant free for all. And Colin, uh, well, Colin Let's killed start. everybody. <laughs> But Colin had flew too close to the sun, and he was eliminated. Zah won. And just when I thought it was over, um, I fucking forgot Paul existed. Wait. Paul got you, bitch! Oh! Paul just won! Oh! Paul won the loser's bracket! Oh! Look at us! Wait, did I lose? Yes, and yet again, I'd have to face the ramifications of allowing a uh, fake bear into this competition. And so yeah, in true comedic fashion, we decided it would be fair if Paul and Zaba became one cohesive unit for Grand Finals. And this Grand Finals match would be Nerf Fencing. Two. And although it might seem unfair that Kieran has to hit Paul on the back of Za, Kieran fenced, so it's fair. Kieran had already scored one point on Paul Zaba, all he needed was one more to win. Kieran then ran. Ah! Paul has been.
been slain. How's it feel? Ah! After watching- Yo! Jesus Christ! <laughs> After watching all of your performances today, I have granted one biggest loser. When you knocked over everything on the table, I knew in my heart that this was destined for you. <laughs> so I thought it'd be funny to get the loser just a straight L, but it's her name, so it just ended up being a good gift. We then crowned Palza the coveted second place medal. Uh, you get $100, obviously. I will give you an extra 100 if you agree to the terms I'm not going to tell you. I'll take it. Okay, cool. I haven't been entirely truthful. Enzo really wanted to play, so this was um, the deal I made with him. He got to chase the winner with a Gatling gun. Run away from him for like 60 seconds, like you do an extra 100 bucks. What, define, like, not like he can't hit you, yeah. Do I have to stay in this room? No. No. How much time do I get to run away? Uh, five seconds. Go! He's so far! He's so far! He's so far! He's so fast! He just kept running. And he didn't stop. That was the last day I had ever saw Kieran Burns. And I remember he told me a quote one time. He said, Life is like a box of chocolates. It will kill your dog. It's just a matter of when. And so Kieran Burns, congratulations. You've won the Nerf competition, and you escaped Enzo and I. You did it. All it took was me being a white guy who knows a little bit too much about Nerf guns and swords. Yeah, wait, this is like the fencing, the running, it was your Nerf guns. You fucked up the surprise attack! Okay, he was literally meant for this challenge. All right, we took an L, Enzo. Right now. Oh, yay. Yeah, now, yeah. ready? <laughs> and now for that red box with the bow on top. What the fuck is this? Hey, yo. It's my feet pictures. No, not for free, not for free. All right, we're going to start the bidding at $150. Oh,